Floyd founder and guitarist, Sid Barrett. Emily tries, but misunderstands. Barrett helped pioneer the psychedelic sounds of the 60s. Joe Boyd, who produced the band's first album, remembers Barrett's magnetic personality. Sid was the spark plug of Pink Floyd. He was very charismatic, handsome, and he seemed to be the center of the group. And he wrote all the songs. He sang, played the guitar. But this innovative musician may have fallen victim to his own psychedelic inspirations. And I remember running into his girlfriend at the time. And she said he's been tripping for four days or something like that. And he took way more acid than anybody ever should, really. And it blew some circuits. Living in a drug haze, Barrett's bizarre onstage antics became legendary. He would often smash tablets of the sedative Mandrax into his hair before shows, then rejoice as they melted down his face on stage. Other times, the talented guitarist simply forgot where he was. A lot of the songs, Sid would just stop playing. He would start the song, and then he would just drop his hands at his side and stand there on stage with his guitar on, and he would come, to come back to the verse for him to sing. He wouldn't sing. In fits of paranoia, Barrett would refuse huge royalty checks, give away his guitars, and even worked as a gravedigger. For Boyd, it was difficult to watch the man who started Pink Floyd self-destruct. And the thing that I'll never forget is that as Sid came by, I looked and I said, hi, Sid. And it was like some in the three months or two and a half months since I'd seen him, someone had come along and gone and just turned the light off. The spark in his eye had just gone out. The pressure to perform became too much, and Pink Floyd lost its most influential member when Sid Barrett suffered a massive mental breakdown. The impact of that loss reverberates through some of Pink Floyd's most powerful albums. Many songs on Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, and The Wall are tributes to Sid's genius and friendship. Even one of the most famous secret tracks or backward tracks on the wall on Empty Spaces, you hear Roger Waters say, congratulations, you just discovered the secret message. Please send your answer in care of old Pink, the funny farm. And the reference to the funny farm was the idea that Barrett had had a breakdown and that he'd left the band. In the early 1970s, Sid's friends and bandmates tried to help him out of his malaise. He recorded two solo albums, Barrett and the aptly titled Madcap Laughs. Neither record sold. Sadly, for the past three decades, the musical madman behind one of rock's most inventive bands has lived his life in a metal haze, moving in and out of various institutions. Sid is being looked after somewhere in England and not very well. While the madcap may be just a shell of his former self, his musical legacy sadly hints at what could have been a long and brilliant career.